Climate change poses significant threats. Threats to our lands, our biodiversity and our livelihoods. Extreme weather events and changing climate patterns severely impact agriculture, livestock, water resources, energy and human health. Eight out of ten Ethiopians reside in rural areas, relying heavily on rain-fed subsistence farming to survive. Droughts, erratic rainfalls, land degradation and increasing desertification cause farmers to struggle. They cause loss of livestock and food insecurity. The population faces further health risks due to rising temperatures and flooding, which together increase the likelihood of malaria outbreaks and the spread of waterborne diseases. These imminent threats demand a response. Thus, beyond simply participating in conferences and summits and adhering to agreements made there, Ethiopia took tangible actions. Just as life and new beginnings start with a seed, so do the changes we need to make in order to renew the environment of our beautiful, lush and historically green nation. In 2019, we embarked upon a mission. A mission to imagine a new, green and climate resilient society. Our very own green legacy. An initiative designed to combat the effects of climate change, restore degraded landscapes and forests, improve the livelihoods of our citizens and promote green behavior. It sets ambitious goals focused on boosting reforestation and afforestation to restore ecological balance. But how exactly? By planting 20 billion seedlings across Ethiopia, carefully chosen to be appropriate for our local ecosystem. In the first two years of this initiative, over 20 million citizens mobilized to achieve this initiative's goals. And with that, the seed that was the green legacy began to bear fruit. As of today, we have not only achieved our goal, but surpassed it. We planted 25 billion trees, equivalent to 250 trees per Ethiopian. We have a survival rate of 70% over the last three years and we opened over 120,000 nurseries across urban and rural Ethiopia. Among the seedlings prepared for 2022, more than 500 million are fruit-bearing plants like avocados, mangoes, apples and papayas. This means that roughly one seedling in 50 planted for the green legacy will improve food self-sufficiency and support income generation. Millions of hectares were planted across rural and urban areas, a good part of it dedicated to agroforestry, which involves integrating trees and shrubs into agricultural systems in an effort to ultimately achieve food sovereignty. This year, Ethiopia has paved its way to wheat self-sufficiency by planting heat-tolerant, water-efficient wheat varieties that adapt to arid and semi-arid agroecologies. As a result, the country is on track to begin exporting wheat in the following year. The Green Legacy has created over 700,000 permanent and temporary jobs, generating approximately 1.3 billion Ethiopian beer in income. These wide-ranging socio-economic gains have been built from the ground up by the people for the people. And it isn't just the people that have prospered, so has the environment with a significant decline in land degradation and deforestation along with the formation of new forests. In just the first two years of the Green Legacy, the overall impact on carbon emissions is approximately the same as removing nearly 64 million gasoline-powered cars from the roads for an entire year. And that is no small feat. One of the key pledges that countries made at the UN Climate Change Conference in Glasgow was to halt and reverse deforestation and land degradation by 2030. In line with this goal, African countries have come together and committed to restore 100 million hectares of land across the continent, representing close to 4% of Africa's land area. In an effort to strengthen regional cooperation for climate resilience, Ethiopia has expanded its Green Legacy initiative to neighboring countries by sharing its seedlings. 
But it is no longer simply a matter of reaching targets. We must work together to forge a new system of green living, green behavior, and green development in Africa and in the world at large. There is no doubt that future generations will reap the benefits of the seeds we are sowing today through the Green Legacy Initiative. Life, after all, begins as a seed. This is Ethiopia's Green Legacy. Our legacy. Your legacy.